next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things. From as close as you can get, he's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Rome, Italy, Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just unable to quite find that range. That's a good knee to the body. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch.
With under three minutes now to go in the round. Going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. See if he can rally. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that nose. Oh, good lead right by Lee. Great sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Lee's kick is blocked, and he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken <laughs> and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice defense there, huge block. I want that takedown now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? I mean, he's cutting it down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Relax, keep those hands up. Lee gets stoned by that leg kick. And they separate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Big roundhouse now just misses. Don't wait. You hit him 
Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Luke. Visibly limping here. Quite a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he was setting out some strike that was really damaging his opponent. Shot land. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Moving to his left now. Three minutes remain in the round. Pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick lands. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Score that takedown for me, man. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, nice. That one snuck in. Nice strike. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Well, he certainly added to his highlight reel in that previous round. DC, a lot of effective kicks there to the bottom. And he did a great job of setting up those kicks. He's not throwing blind body kicks. He's not just throwing the kick. He's throwing it behind jabs. He's throwing it behind punches, making his opponent think high, and then blasting that kick right into his opponent's body. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Punch him first. Punch him top. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Head 
kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Circling away towards the left now. Beautiful body kick. Great punch landing with so much power. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Nice punch lands over the top. Liver kick. the shot. Watch knees to the body. Nice straight right hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shit into his opponent. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He got him! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.